Hey guys, it's me Ali. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my very first wish haul and I am pretty excited slash pretty skeptical because I don't really know what I am getting myself into. I ordered all of these products like two months ago and the final product just came in a couple of days ago. I'm still waiting on one product but it didn't come in on the ship date so I had to contact them and you know not gonna get into all of that. Just know that if you're gonna be ordering from the Wish app or from Wish.com it could take up to two months for your products to get to your house. All the products are relatively inexpensive and from what I've seen on previous hauls or just doing some like research on different reviews for people doing wish hauls, sometimes you get what you think you're gonna be getting, other times you're getting something completely different. So I have very, very high hopes because I'm very optimistic, but who knows what is going to happen. Today's video is in collaboration with my cousin Melissa and I'm so, so happy about that. She just started her very own YouTube channel and her channel name is The Cheap Chick. I'm going to put it on the very top of the description below. She is like the wish freaking queen. She loves that app. She gets almost everything off of it. So if you guys like these types of videos, definitely check out her channel in the description below. She will blow your mind. She makes such great content. I just love seeing her channel grow each and every single day. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, just ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get on into it. So the very first thing that I picked up off of the wish.com website is this sweatshirt and I'm so in love with it. It says YouTube, it is black and it has the logo right in the center. It is really good quality. It was $23. It said it was regularly $169, which girl please, I would never spend that kind of money, but it was only $23 and I have to say it's literally one of the most comfortable sweaters I've ever worn. I've always wanted a YouTube sweatshirt, but I'm not at the level yet that you YouTube would send it to me, so I just bought myself my own. Let's dig on into the rest of the items now. In this haul, I bought some Disney items, of course. Primarily, all the things that I purchased off of here were Disney-related items. Besides the Disney items, I bought apparel items, I bought jewelry, I bought home living items, I bought some accessories, and just so, so much more. So the first thing that I am pulling out is this t-shirt, and I'm already noticing that there's something wrong with it. This was $6 on their website, and it was regularly $25, and I did order in white, and it is coming in in gray. Not that big of a deal, but I just think it's really cute. It says wifey on it. So upon looking on it, it looks like it is pretty poorly lasered on. It looks very like distorted. You can't really tell right here, but if you look up close, you could tell that the letters are all like really, really distorted. And again, I did order it in white and it came in in gray, but all in all, it's still really cute. If I were you, I would probably be judging me for this next item too. Now just hear me out. Adam and I are going to Disney in the fall time and we booked the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and I really, really, really wanted to dress up as Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So I saw this Minnie Mouse costume on the website for $12. It was regularly $40. I'm not exactly sure what it looks like. It looks pretty decent so far. First thing that I'm noticing I'm getting a very sexy little thong to go with it. Probably not going to be wearing this, but this is like a little added bonus. Just a nice little red and white polka dot thong. Very, very stringy. And here is the actual costume. So, for $12, I'm kind of liking this so far. And don't mind my voice, I'm coming down with a cold right now. Hashtag teacher life. So, this is what it looks like. Guys, I'm like not disappointed about this at all. If you go to Hot Topic and you find something very similar to this, it's like upwards of 50 something dollars. So we're getting, oh my gosh, it has like a little bow too. I didn't even see that. This is actually really cute. I hope that it fits. I actually kind of love this right now. So we're getting this and then I dropped something. We're also getting a pair of mini ears, which are very, very cheap looking. I would probably wear this with just a pair of my own Minnie Mouse ears, but it is kind of cool that we're getting this as well. And this was only $12. Like I'm living for this right now. Upon exploring the Wish.com website or the Wish app, I noticed that you can get a lot of things for free and you just have to pay for shipping. So I saw this item 
for free and it was only like two dollars shipping and i thought that it would be absolutely perfect for a disney diy it is not disney specific but if you look at it it is this little silicone mold and they're paw print so i thought that i would use this for an upcoming disney diy where i make some paw popsicles inspired by zootopia two dollars heck freaking yes Next up is the very first item that I put into my car. It was a dollar, regularly five dollars. I'm not super happy with the quality. It is the coin from Pirates of the Caribbean. It just feels really cheap, but it was only a dollar. So like, honestly, what do you expect? In the picture, the actual emblem was a lot more raised. It had a lot more texture and a lot more detail. This one isn't as much detail but it's only a dollar and honestly if you look at this you completely understand what it is nobody's gonna look at this and be like oh what is that from like if you're a disney fan and you look at this you automatically know it is from pirates of the caribbean i wouldn't necessarily wear this as a necklace because i don't wear necklaces but i think i'm gonna use some tools and cut off the top little loop and then put a pin back on it and create my own little diy disney pirates of the caribbean pin Next up is another apparel item. It was $3 on the website, regularly $89. Who would spend $89 on this product? It is beyond me, but I got it for $3 plus shipping. It is another item that is not Disney specific. When I saw it, I automatically thought of oh, Winnie the Pooh. It is just a white t-shirt and it says honey right in the center and the colors are correct in this one. For that wifey one, I did buy a white shirt and they sent it to me in gray. For this one, I ordered the white shirt with the red writing and I'm getting a white shirt with red writing. So automatically into it. Let's see what it looks like. Guys, like $3? This is pretty nice quality. It's very stretchy and it feels like very, very soft. It does remind me of those like little iron on letters. So you could probably just make this at home. But for $3, you're getting the shirt, the writing, and it's very, very, very breathable material. Like, I'm very, very much into this haul right now. I'm having a very good experience. This next item I don't have a price for because it was sent to me by my cousin Melissa, who I am again collabing with in this video now. Her channel name is The Cheap Chick, so you guys can kind of get a sense of what she likes to spend her money on or how she likes to spend her money. She does not spend a lot of money on anything. I so admire that about her. You will never ever see her getting anything like top dollar because she will find that exact same thing for like 50% off or even 75% off somewhere else and it will work just as fine. So she sent me this next item. I don't know how much it was, but knowing my cousin, I'm assuming it was either free just play shipping or it was like a dollar with a dollar shipping, something along those lines. Look at how cute this is. The quality is amazing and I'm so, thanks Jax. <laughs> thanks for moving the camera. I'm so in love with it. They are little nail stickers. Now look at how many nail stickers are on here. There's little clusters and each cluster has anywhere between 20 to 25 and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 different clusters. That's a lot of nail stickers and they're legitimate Disney characters. Like sometimes you order these items off of these like Asian websites or these foreign websites and then you just get like a Mickey head that's not specifically a Mickey Mouse. This is actually Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Daisy, a bunch of little Mickeys, the little Disney sign. Like this is amazing. I'm having so much fun with this right now. this next item guys let me tell you about this next item right here first and foremost it was only six dollars on their website regularly either 12 or 15 plus shipping i didn't really mention shipping so let me just take like two seconds to talk to you about shipping you don't pay shipping in like a lump sum you pay shipping for each individual object that you're getting or each individual item so every single item that i bought i did have to pay shipping but the shipping is anywhere between like a dollar to three dollars you could pay like ten dollars for shipping but i never ever picked items that were like ten dollars for shipping pretty much all the items that i'm showing you in this haul were anywhere between like one dollar to four dollars so yes this cost me six dollars i believe it was one dollar shipping so it's a grand total of seven dollars for this item i have been looking everywhere 
everywhere for this shirt. I looked at Hot Topic, I looked on all different Disney websites, and I finally found it here on Wish. It looks like it is great quality in the actual app which of course they're gonna make it look really good. So let's see if it is as good of quality when I am opening it up. I love it, I'm so excited about it. So it says, I am 99% sure that I am a Disney villain. Look how cute, I love it. Now I wanted the one that said I am 99% sure that I am a Disney princess, but I couldn't find it anywhere. To be honest with you, I really like it as a t-shirt it's very stretchy, it's very comfortable, looks like it's going to fit perfectly. I'm not going to necessarily keep this as a t-shirt. I like to DIY my t-shirts, excuse me, and distress them. And I'm going to be turning this one into like a little bit of a crop top slash racer back slash muscle tank. So this is going to be a little project for me up front, but it was only $7 and look at how cute. So I'm going to be taking the sleeves off and I'm going to be cropping it a little bit. But the actual font I'm very, very happy with. I'm happy with the letters. They don't look distorted at all. They don't look like kind of like sketched out at all either. And they're very evenly placed. I am a 90s girl at heart. It is legitimately the best era in my personal opinion. And I saw this shirt on Wish that just screamed the 90s to me, so I had to put it in my cart. It was $9, regularly $32 plus shipping. It's a color block shirt. First of all, looking at it right now, it's a lot smaller than what it looks like on the actual website. It makes it look like it is an actual t-shirt on the website and although this is a t-shirt it looks like a child's t-shirt luckily I feel like I will fit in this and I'll just like tuck this into some jeans but this is definitely a lot shorter than they made it seem on the website I don't really care it's still super super cute we have a purple sleeve we have a yellow pocket a mint green t-shirt and then another pink sleeve it's really cute Allison, do you need another pair of Minnie Mouse ears? Absolutely not. You already have like 50 pairs in your bedroom. Just walk away. It is a trap. But what if I tell you that you can get them for free and just pay $2 for shipping? How many are allowed to put into your cart? That was a conversation that I had with myself when I was ordering this next item. I saw a pair of Minnie Mouse ears on the Wish website for free, you only had to pay $2 for shipping, so how could I not put those into my car? I only got one pair, not two pairs, just one pair. I had a little bit of self-control, but look at these. Honestly, I had little to no hope for these coming in at all. I had no high hopes for these at all because again, they were free and you just had to pay $2 for shipping. I thought that they were going to be very, very cheesy looking, but now upon getting them at my house, they're actually really nice. They have a sequin bow, like a sequin bow and glitter ears. These remind me of Belle. And as you guys know, Belle is my favorite princess. So I'm all in on these right now. I'm gonna put them on. I know that I have a bandana on. Let me crouch down a little bit so you guys can see. Guys, they're so awesome. I kind of want to go on and order every other pair. I was nervous because you would have to pay $2 shipping for each individual one. And I didn't want to buy a ton of them thinking that they might come in and be really bad quality. But now that I see these, like, yeah, I'm going to go on and buy some more. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm really, really sorry. Next up is another item that my cousin Melissa sent to me. So I don't have a price, but oh my God, I'm in love. It is a little Mickey Mouse bedazzled pop socket. So this is a pop socket that you would put on the back of your phone and then you can put your finger through it to hold on to it so it's a little bit more secure. You can also use it as a little bit of a stand if you're watching TV or you're watching YouTube videos or whatever it might be. So we have the little Mickey Mouse. He is all bedazzled. Right over here it actually looks like an engagement ring or just like a diamond ring. So when you're holding onto your phone, it kind of looks like you have a ring on. And then we have the Mickey and the sticky adhesive in the back. So awesome. I love this.
I have a couple more items to share with you in this wish haul. The next two items are going to be Disney inspired jewelry items and the first Disney inspired jewelry item I'm going to be sharing with you are these bedazzled gemstone Mickey Mouse earrings. I love these. I just came back from not Disney but we went to Disney Spring in April because we were on a family trip in Florida to Florida excuse me and I saw something very very similar to this and they were like $25. These were $3 regularly $6 with like $2 for shipping so I think I got these for a grand total of $5. They're not as nice looking as the ones in Disney Springs but if I can save close to $20 I'm all for it. Shamelessly, out of all of the items that I purchased, this item right here is the item that I am the most excited about. It was only $1 plus shipping, regularly $23 on their website, and it is a charm bracelet. I grew up loving charm bracelets. My grandmother got me my very first one, not like a Pandora charm bracelet, like a legitimate chain bracelet that you add charms on, and I used to have so much fun picking out all the charms. This one in particular is a Beauty and the Beast inspired charm bracelet and it just brings me right back to my childhood. It just reminds me so much of my grandmother who has passed away and she was one of like my best friends, my Grammy Jammy, and it's just, oh, it just seriously warms my heart right now. So we have a little teapot from Mrs. Potts. It's not like all Beauty and the Beast, it's Beauty and the Beast inspired, so you don't have the actual characters on here, but you have things that represent Beauty and the Beast. So again, we have a teapot, we have a little teacup and saucer, we have a mirror, we have a beast, we have a dress, who actually does kind of look like Belle. We have the candlestick, I know his name's Lumiere, but I don't know what it's called in real life, where you have the candlestick that has like the two little things over here that hold the candles. Calabrala, whatever it is, I don't really know. We have a castle, we have a rose, and then we have something that says tale as old as time. I lied, there is one more jewelry item. This one was sent to me again by my cousin. This is the last thing that I have that my cousin sent me, and it is a Mickey Mouse ring. I am probably never taking this off. If you guys are longtime subscribers of mine, you might remember when I came back from my honeymoon, I did like a really big Disney haul and I bought a Mickey Mouse ring and then I lost it. And it was like one of my favorite accessories I owned and I just lost it. I have no idea where it is. So when my cousin sent this to me, it was like so exciting because I have a Mickey Mouse ring again. And it's actually really nice. It's good quality, it fits nice. I mean, I don't think that it's like silver by any means. It's obviously going to like turn my finger green, but until it turns my finger green, I'm not taking it off. There are two more items left in this haul. The second to last item is an accessory for my pocketbook. Are you guys ready for it? Are you ready for it? It was $3 plus shipping, regularly $15. It's a little Mickey Mouse pom-pom. Now I am noticing right here that it's a little out of shape. That is only because it has been sitting in that bag for several weeks. This is one of the first items that made it to my house. And like I had mentioned in the intro to this video, I've been waiting several more weeks for the rest of the items to come in. So I think that I just need to like fluff it up a little bit to give it its shape back, but it's so so cute. We have Mickey Mouse right at the top and then we have like the little pom-pom. This is going directly on my pocketbook. And last but definitely not least, I actually forgot that I even purchased this until I looked at the bottom of the bin that I was storing all of the items. This was $28 plus shipping regularly. $399. I don't know how much I believe that, but the last item is a wig. Now, if you guys have been following along on my social media, whether it is YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever it may be, you may know that in less than a month, I'm like freaking out. I'm going to be cutting and donating 15 inches of my hair. So my hair is going to be like, like this short and I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting a little nervous guys. I'm getting a little nervous about it. Like very, very excited, but 
also like a little bit nervous i haven't had short hair in like six years so i thought that i would buy a wig now am i gonna wear this every single day because my hair is short no i'm actually gonna be embracing the short hair but i saw this wig on their website and it looked really really cute fun fact about me I used to have these crazy tight ringlet banana curls when I was young. I had it all the way up until I was in high school and then I think I straightened my hair so much that it just like waved out and now I cannot get those banana curls if I tried. I had the most gorgeous, like not trying to put myself on a pedestal, but little baby Allison had the best hair. So I saw this wig and it has the hair that I used to look like when I was a kid. It's so cool. So. This is a wig. I don't really, I don't really know how it's gonna work. It's like one of those front lace wigs. It actually looks like really good quality. It feels very, very thick. It feels very, very soft. The hair is just coming off as I'm pulling it. That's not a good sign. But look at that hair. I used to have this hair. What happened? So beautiful. So I'm gonna try this out and I'll show you what it looks like. Do you like it? I just put it on in like a minute. Obviously it's not in place. All the front lace is still out. You can even see right over here my braid. I didn't even tuck it in. I was just putting it on quickly to see what it looks like. And I will say it's super soft. I love the curls. This is bringing me back to my childhood. I'm not kidding you. I had here just like this when I was a kid. Maybe a little looser, but you guys get the idea. I had these like super super intense banana curl ringlet curls and I miss them so much and this is just it's literally bringing me back to middle school and to elementary school and to certain parts of high school not so much college and that is it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching I had an awesome first wish experience like I think that this was a massive massive success this was a lot of fun and i'm so pumped about all the new items that i have to use and to play around with i would love to know what you guys think in the comments below did you guys like this did you guys not like this would you like to see more of these on my channel spoiler alert i bought like 15 dog items off of wish and i plan on doing a video with Jax very very soon testing out a bunch of different dog apparel items and dog toys and just dog items in general so thumbs up this video if you guys are excited about that i know i am i love you guys to the moon and back i hope that you're having an amazing day and i will talk to you all soon bye guys